So I want to welcome everyone today here. We're very excited that you're here. My team and I invite you to ignite your spark within. I want to thank you too for your time joining us on our journey, empowering our potential today. We want to acknowledge that your time is really important. It's valuable. And we're incredibly grateful for you giving us both your time and attention now. I know some people like to attend a presentation without needing to be the center of attention. And I know that there are other people that really enjoy getting to raise their hand and ask questions. So I want to invite you to grab a piece of paper if you have one handy so that you can write down any questions that might come up as we move through our presentation. And for those who are watching later, you too can note down any questions you have and get back to the person who invited you to this recording. There's another option you have today though, for those of you or all of you, if you'd like to, you can use the chat. There's a little button down at the bottom of your screen where you can go to the chat and you can type in your question to everyone so that our, our expert, our, our guest speaker will be able to answer the questions after our presentation is over. And if you feel shy, then you can just click on the chat and instead of sending your question to everyone, you could send it to me or any of the other presenters and we'll ask your question for you and you can stay anonymous. So another thing is we're gonna be reaching out to you after our presentation today because we have a surprise for you. Each presenter is hosting a surprise gift drawing for the people they invited to our presentation today. And this is a fun way that we can thank you personally for your support. So I'm Gloria Lightpecker, and my background is being a resonant healing practitioner, a therapist, as well as a constellation with horses facilitator, which is fascinating work. About six months ago, I was healing up from a hernia surgery when Marion Palmer reached out to learn more about what I did here at Healing New Sanctuary. What stands out to me now is how she genuinely took the time to be in a relationship with me. She was warm and had gentle curiosity and she was really interested. She introduced me right away to Marsha White and then Jerry White. And I recognized something as I experienced these new connections. I saw God's hand at work in my life. What Marian didn't know then was that I had been praying for this breakthrough, for my health, but also for many of my loved ones' health. And I also been praying for a warm, welcoming community that would share my family's values. Before I started the redox, I was experiencing really sharp pains from my surgery. And I also had stress that was clouding my inner vision and it was limiting my creativity. And I had some breathing issues. And, you know, I was on a mission to be able to be the change I wanted to see in the world, but I kept knocking up against these stressors. What I've noticed since I started using the redox is that my surgery pain has drastically lessened. I now wake up feeling empowered. I'm more resilient and motivated. I have clearer thinking, confidence, and creativity. So this is my before and after picture. It's five months after. I encourage you, if you haven't used the Redox, to take a picture before you do. So I'm so glad Marianne encouraged me to do this. I've consistently taken eight ounces of Redox daily and used the Renew 28 and Advanced Skin Care System twice a day as well. And as you can see, my skin has gotten firmer and it is has less wrinkles and less sags and bags. And um, <laughs> then we can move on to the next picture. I also got to get pictures of my blood taken. Um, it was a month after I'd started, but you can see in the picture on the from September that it shows my blood and it was it wasn't healthy. 
I actually felt a little alarmed when I saw what it looked like next to, she had a picture that showed what healthy blood looked like, but um, it showed that there's lots of inflammation as well as my blood being weak and my adrenals were spent. But three months later, my inner vibrancy was taking hold. The inflammation had greatly reduced and my adrenals had healed. Thanks, Shelley. So now what I'd like to do is invite you to raise your hand. And then as I read some different types of issues that we can commonly run into, you'll lower your hand if you recognize them or if you have a loved one that recognizes them. So if you're willing to play along with me, if you can raise your hand. The Redox bottle actually lists several genes that the ASEA Redox has been researched to activate. So the average age of the study was 35. So they were healthy young adults that were just being impacted by the environment. So do you know anyone who has dealt with an immune system challenge? Lower your hand if you do, or how about an inflammatory issue, cardiovascular issue, a digestive problem, a hormone issue? Or do you personally deal with any of these? Well, these are a few things. There are very few things that are more important than our health. And this is a breakthrough technology that works at the cellular level where health begins. So now I have the pleasure of connecting you with my friend and colleague, Vicki Laraway. Oh, you're, you're muted, Vicki. So if we could get you to unmute. Okay. Thank you so much for taking your time to come and spend with us and allowing me to share my passion here with you. Um, a lot of you know me and know me pretty well. So some of this may not be new, but as a young person, I didn't always hang out with the right crowd. And it kind of gave my mother some concerns once in a while. And she used to tell me, Vicki, you can't change the world. And in my little mind, teenage mind, I'd be like, really? Why do you even say that? I didn't ever say that to her, but my mom was a social worker and I really thought that she shared my, my challenge and perspective of helping others. So um, I, I believe that I have a gift of, of uh, a calling in my life to be a helper. I just always have. I tell people I don't have, an, I don't have a degree or a PhD, but knowingly or unknowingly, I collect people and um, and I love each one of them throughout my life. I just, I've had always had really, really good friends. But little did my mama know that at age 63, um, ASEA found me. And when I first heard it, Elizabeth actually was telling me, um, it's natural to the body. God gave it to us at birth so that our bodies could heal themselves all these trillions of little redox signaling molecules help your body to heal itself. And in my brain, I got it. It was like, that makes total sense to me. So um, if things don't make sense in my brain, I kind of just move them off and off to, to something else. But right away, it made sense to my brain. So I realized that when I was a kid, I could run all day long, not get tired. I had tons of energy because I had tons of redox. I had the ability to heal quicker. Um, my skin looked amazing. I could skin my knee and a few days later you wouldn't even know it because my body healed itself. And I never woke up with sore muscles, sore bones, but because of environment and chemicals that is added to our foods, the aging process, bad cells that reproduce bad cells, I'm now down to only producing 40% of redox signaling molecules in my body. So it's like going to your job and you're down 60% of your workforce, which means the remaining 40% of our workforce has to do 100% of that work. So it's no wonder that I was feeling crummy. Um, before I was, I was introduced to ASEA, I was at the point that I'd get up from my desk and walk 10 steps to my printer, but I didn't just get up and walk there. I would have to stand up I always said, unfold myself, stand there a little bit and stretch out before I could even just go 
10 steps to the printer. I know you guys probably, some of you know what I'm talking about, because I don't think I'm alone in that, just with the age process alone. But I'm going down the stairs in the morning, I'd take one step at a time, because that's all my body would allow me to do. <clears throat> well, I started um, taking the redox in experiencing these molecules in May of 2021. And by August, I was running down those stairs in the morning and going, yeah, take that old body. I honestly feel 20 years younger in my days and in my muscles. I really do. I feel like every, every night when I go to bed, I'm climbing into a new bed. It's kind of, I even, I, I've done sales before, but this isn't even a sales pitch. This is like real life for me. Um, I don't have to readjust my legs to try to find a good spot for my knees, my hip, my shoulder that used to just ache. So there's uh, no stretching when I get out in the morning, trying to get to my um, alarm, which I don't set right beside my bed for good reasons. And the ability to recall words and um, quicker and just the brain fog that I had been experiencing and I just attributed to old age is pretty much lifted. I still have some struggles with that, but um, I've only been on the redox signaling for nine months now, but I am so excited, you guys, and I'm so excited that you have joined me and I don't ever want to take this redox for granted. And I want you to all experience it too, because I, although I know all of our experiences are different, all of those of, of us that are presenting to you today, our own experiences and our own journeys with Redox, they're all different because we all do have individual issues. But what I have come to experience is that these molecules can't not work. It's a double negative. I homeschooled my kids. I know that that's not the right, proper way to talk, but they cannot not work. We may not be seeing them do their job in us, but just like we don't see our every little motion our car goes through when we go start it up in the morning. But what we do know is if we keep up the maintenance with our car, fix things that we get warning signals about, um, the, our cars run more smoothly. And without the proper maintenance, our cars might be failing just like we could be failing. And we don't even know it until those warning lights come on and, and tell us there's a major problem. So since our bodies, these are, like I told you before, they're, they are um, native to our body. Our body makes these already. So when we take them, our bodies know exactly what to do with them. They go to wherever they're being called to go within our body. And they either replace or they renew the cell that are compromised. These are just a few things, you guys, I could go on and on about what they've done for me, but also my family. So many issues have been um, resolved, um, like uh, burning in your chest, all the way down to feet when you walk, they hurt. But how many of you want your vessel to keep running smoothly? Because I'm at the age now where I wanna retire, especially now that I'm feeling 20 years younger, the current job I have, they probably wouldn't miss me just a day, um, maybe a week, but they'll do fine without me. I lost my mom of, can at the, uh, of cancer at the age of 46. I was way too young. I was 26 without a mama. And uh, so I know she'd be proud of me though, because I'm following my lifelong passion and helping others become the best version of themselves. And the best part about it is, see these ladies that we're talking, I have a team behind me. And I know that team runs all the way up to the corporate office. I know that because I've met them. I know them. And I have total confidence that they all want to see me succeed in my health and whatever else I want to do um, with the ASEA. So um, thank you all for coming again. And I am proud to now connect you with my teammate and new beautiful friend, Kimberly or Shelly Manning, sorry. No problem. Thank you, Vicki. That is, I yeah. love your, I love your information that you shared. Okay, I'm going to share my screen and show you my before and after. I'm in charge of the, the screen sharing, so. Okay, so this is, I joined um, ASEA back in February of 2014. 
And I was experiencing, I, for over 35 years, a genetic challenge. And at around 10 years old, I started having extreme pain in my head and it would cause part of my body to go numb. It would um, make my eyes get blurry. I'd feel sick to my stomach. And as I aged, they got worse. And I was a collegiate athlete and um, they just got worse and they would last for days. So I was having 10 to 12 of those a month and I'd need to lie in a dark, quiet room. And as I aged, I was teaching half day kindergarten and I had two young children at home and it was all I could do some days to just get to work, pick up my kids after work and would then get home and just corral my kids in the room with me. And I would lie down and I would count the minutes until my husband would get home from work. I get a little emotional. It was a rough, rough time. Um, and Sometimes I'd even end up in the ER to get a pain shot, but uh, I was just basically existing day to day and just doing what I could. And um, almost, like I said, in, in few, eight, almost eight years ago, I ran into my high school friend, Jen, at a movie, and she noticed that I had a sore on my lip, and she said, I have something for that. Wasn't even talking about the, the genetic problem I had, but I said, okay, I'll try it. And within two days, that sore was gone from spraying the ASEA and they didn't have renew 28 at that time. So I, I was totally amazed. I could not believe it because they used to last forever, you know? Um, anyway, unfortunately, since I was so sick and I was kind of a rest recluse, I did not get back in touch with her for about three months and finally, I connected with her and got started on SIA. And within six weeks, I had huge improvements in the pain that it was more manageable. I was only having one or two a month and able to manage them without having to go to the doctor or to go um, get a shot or anything else. And they were, they were only a small inconvenience. And so I am just so excited that I have my life back. I can, I, I'm an old mom, I'm 53 and I have a 15 year old and an 11, almost 12 year old, and I can keep up with them. I have the energy I need. I can, I work full time teaching first grade and I, I literally have my life back and I can do the things that I love. I love to play soccer. I still play. I'm rehabbing my knee right now, but I, We'll be back in a couple of weeks. And I'm just so thankful for these redox signaling molecules. And if you notice, I have all kinds of other side effects that are so amazing um, that it's just, it's so, so life-changing um, being on these um, redox signaling molecules. It, it even changed my face. I mean, my friends would tell me I used to be like gray and I have my color back. I have my energy. I just... I cannot be without them. So now I have the pleasure of introducing the amazing Kimberly Burnett. And she is fabulous. Oh, I have to do our seven minute video. I almost, I'm so excited to get to Kim. She's awesome. <laughs> but I've got um, just a seven minute informational video to share with you. And it is changing the face of health and of athletics on a global scale. And so we'll push play here and we're ready to go. I grew up in Salt Lake City, Utah. I took a degree from the University of Utah, uh, managed some stores for Safeway, and then ended up going to work for General Foods Corporation. I was asked to sit on the board of a small company that had been working on a technology for about 15 years numerous patents, a lot of research, and they were actually producing a product using salt and water. And when they told me that, uh, they wanted me to go on their board, I said, well, you're gonna have to convince me that this is real. How can you produce something from salt and water? And they said, we have a lot of research, extensive research, 10 or $15 million worth of research. Virtus agreed to join the board of directors. 
So I went to the first board meeting and found out that they were flat out of money. They were a million dollars in debt. We said, let's see if we can help them find money. We tried for about 90 days, could not. Eventually the company uh, folded and they actually merged it with another company, an energy company. And when that happened, that company started selling off assets. And I said, I am gonna put a group of investors together and I'm gonna take a run at the company. And over the course of a year, we discovered what the product was and why it worked. We developed what's called the mechanism of action. They discovered the product was based on redox biochemistry, a new field of science that emerged near the beginning of the 21st century. Redox signaling is a function central to all forms of life. Redox signaling molecules are created within every cell of the body and are vital to the immune system and to cellular repair and replace mechanisms. As one gets older, the body's ability to make these molecules decreases, a function of aging. The product provided a replenishing source of the exact redox signaling molecules the body creates, and in the same balance, enhancing cellular health. Knowing the product shelf life was essential, Virtus challenged a team of researchers, including Dr. Gary Samuelson, to find a way to stabilize the product. And finally, after months, he finally came in and said, I think I've got the product stabilized. And we started testing it and found out that he had, in fact, stabilized the product. After stabilization had been achieved, Virtus met with a group of university scientists. This is stabilized redox signaling molecules, both positive and negative molecules in the same bottle, stabilized. And they said, how in the world did you do this? So one of the big breakthroughs is the fact that we can stabilize molecules that are, you're not supposed to be able to do that. The molecules in the sea are supposed to be fleeting. They should all return to salt and water in just a matter of minutes, and they don't. So we decided to find 40 people and create kind of a focus group, and uh, we started giving it to them. Uh, we, we did that for about two months, and so we said, let's go out and find out where we are with these 40 people. So when we went out and contacted them, we found out that the 40 people had turned into 135, and the product had been shipped to 20 different countries. But in the meantime, we had contacted a, a friend, and he was running a very big pharmaceutical company in New Jersey, about $10, $11 billion. And he finally agreed to send a group of people out and spend some time with us and see what we had come up with. So four people flew out on a plane, we spit out all of the research that we had out on the table. They started getting on the phone about noon back east, and they kept doing that, and about two o'clock they walked in the room and said, uh, okay, we're convinced you've got something here, and it's significant enough that we will write you a check big enough that you won't want to talk to anybody else. And I said, what's the catch? And they said, you've got to shut it down. And I said, shut what down? And they said, you've got 135 people on this product right now, shut it down. People uh, have problems all the time and they deal with them as best they can. You're going to have to walk away. And that kind of took us back a little bit. In fact, I said, I, that seems a little harsh to me. And they said, you want to work with us, you walk away. ASEA LLC opened its doors for business in July 2009 with just a handful of independent associates. Today, there are tens of thousands, and their ranks are growing exponentially every month. In 2012, the company announced its entry into Europe, the first of many international steps to come. My wife questions why I'm doing this. She said, you've retired more than once, and it's time for you to join me, and let's enjoy the golden years, if you will. But recently, a young lady came up, and she broke down and started sobbing. And she had a health challenge in her family that was really severe. And uh, she was introduced to ASEA. And because of what ASEA did, uh, she was just grateful. So I find it hard to talk about, but that's a reason. All right, now I get the pleasure of really, for real, introducing the amazing Kimberly Burnett. And I'll turn the time over to her and then share her information. 
Thank you so much, Shelley, for that. And uh, what an honor. What, a, what an honor to be a part of all of this. And um, this truly is uh, a gift from the Lord that I don't take for granted because I too was searching and praying for something for my health. And, and I was privately and um, my cousin, Debbie, who shared with me, invited me to learn more about it. And um, yes, it was a wonderful presentation, but what really got me was all the testimonials. And so, um, Shelly, if you could go ahead and put my slide up, I'd like to show just a few of, of my pictures. Um, you'll see to the left there, um, I'm 45, and then to the right, um, uh, 48. And so, um, with uh, having a, a serious health challenge, um, when I heard that this was a cell signaling supplement, um, I, it, it made sense to me, and I knew that God was answering a prayer, and so um, I immediately started my journey with ASEA, and so um, if you'll go ahead and put the results tracker up, Shelly, I want to for everyone to see um, this results tracker because it's really important, and the first thing that I would like to say about ASEA is that it's not a drug, but um, it, it doesn't diagnose, it doesn't heal or cure anything. But the amazing thing about this technology is it's our bodies that are doing the healing. So it's, um, it happens very subtle. So what we like to do is we like, you know, when you start the product is uh, to go ahead and take a health score. And what you can do right now is you can score your own health. For example, you can ask these questions. How, how is your energy right now? How is your sleep? Um, how's your stress? What about digestion? And what about stress and mood? Um, mental focus, muscle comfort, joint comfort, uh, skin health, endurance, and also to workout recovery, and then if you have any seasonal issues. And so one of the first things that I noticed that um, when I started drinking ASEA is, um, and I'll just go ahead and demonstrate here, I um, drink um, just the four ounces, what it recommended. And so what I noticed, uh, the first thing was uh, my sleep, it improved. And also too, some things that I noticed that I didn't realize that was going on is um, I had some depression going on and that lifted within a, a week. And um, also too, um, I'm a school teacher, a retired school teacher of 30 years. My knees were in huge discomfort. Um, that went away within three months. And then I had uh, fallen up a horse. Uh, I ride and show horses and it hurt my hip. And that discomfort went away in three to four months. And so things, you know, began to improve. And that serious health challenge that I was dealing with, I was getting great reports for my doctors. So um, I got really, really excited about it and uh, started sharing with friends and family. Um, another testimonial that I have, and we'll move on to the next slide, is um, my show horse and uh, Sandy. And um, here I am doing raining right here. And he uh, was vaccinated. And from the vaccination, um, his organs started shutting down. And so uh, the vet uh, told me that uh, he couldn't save him. And so I uh, had an amazing experience with uh, the redox signaling molecules. So I was a believer and I, I knew that I had something very special on my hands. And so I immediately uh, contacted Dr. Marty Morin and uh, he advised me um, how to, you know, give the redox signaling molecules. And so I started out and I guess 
for the first, for every hour, I was giving him about 16 ounces. And so uh, within the first day, what we noticed is the improvement was the mucous membranes started improving. Also to the white blood cell count improved. And then also to his fever began to come down. And so within seven days, um, um, you know, I stayed with him in the stall and, uh, you know, God just provided that miracle and uh, the uh, uh, molecules did, you know, the job and his body began, you know, to heal. And so I, I knew I didn't have anything to lose because it was 100 percent non-toxic. So um, truly, I, uh, not only am I thankful for what uh this amazing technology has done in my family's life, but also to uh, now in my show horse. So um, now I, um, I would like to introduce uh, someone just uh, really uh, special. And that's uh, Donna Lynn Dominguez. And she's our uh, expert. And um, also to uh, helped get me involved in, in this amazing journey. And um, she uh, is a midwife. She has uh, delivered over a thousand babies. She has built the largest birthing center in the state of Texas. And she also sits on a CS medical board. So um, anyway, I'd like uh, Donna Lynn to jump on and close for us. And uh, thank you so much, Donna Lynn, for doing this for us. Um, she, because she got her health back with um, ASEA, she got so excited and told everyone that she loved. And um, I was a part of that and uh, has built a, a successful business, just loving and, and caring on people. Uh, Donna Lynn. Thank you, Kimmy. My goodness. <clears throat> That's a lot to live up to, isn't it? Um, I appreciate you allowing me to be a part of this today. Kim is such a good leader, and I'm so proud of what she's doing in her area and actually outside of her area, too. She's quite the little gad about building teams all over the place, so we're having a lot of fun. Um, like she said, I've been a midwife for 17 years. I owned a birth center for 10 of those years. And during that time, 2015, I noticed something not right on my leg and I got it checked out and got a very bad report. And so we just did surgery, what they recommended. And they said everything was okay. And I finally recovered and didn't stop working because you don't start, stop working when you own the place. You know, you there's no sick leave. So uh, continued to get through that. And a year later, uh, an area above the incision um, became abnormal. And so I went back and got worse news and found out that the situation was much more severe than it had been the first time. And my prognosis was fair. So uh, we did the medical regimen. Uh, the, there were four treatments. The third one actually killed my pituitary gland and put me in ICU. So when I lived and got out, I said, okay, I'm, I'm finished with this, this method of doing things. I'm going to find natural products to help my body recover. So looked for 16 months in that process. Um, my, actually my nutritionist handed me a bottle of Redux, Redux and signed me up and uh, didn't really explain a lot. She may have, if she did, I wasn't listening or I was too overwhelmed at the moment to understand um, then my other knee was giving me a lot of trouble because I had limped mm -hmm. for so long in recovery. So I was super busy, 60, 70, 80, 90 hours a week working, uh, couldn't stay up past 6 p.m., was in a lot of discomfort with my leg. And so it was not a very pleasant time for me. So uh, I went home and tasted it and it tasted like swimming pool water. So I wouldn't drink it. And I got mad. 
how dare she, you know, sign me up for something. It tastes like pool water and I don't even know what it is. So uh, I stubbornly would not answer text or emails or calls for about seven months. And finally in December, I was really down and having a hard time emotionally and physically. And uh, our upline, Jim Glenn, called me. And it was the first time I answered the phone when he called. And he asked how I was doing. And I was honest with him. I think those were the two miracles that happened that day. It was December 4th, 2017. And he asked how I was doing. And I said, not good. And he said, are you drinking the product? I went, no, I'm not drinking that stuff. It tastes like a swimming pool and I don't know what it is. So he educated me like you guys have been educated tonight. And um, I did, was not nice, but I said, I'll drink it to prove that you're wrong. It couldn't possibly do all that stuff you say. That sounds too good to be true. So it probably is but I'm desperate. So, and now I have seven cases because I did never turn off auto ship. So I'll go ahead and drink it and show you that it's not going to work just like everything else I've tried hadn't worked. And that was my very bad attitude. I admit it every time I tell this story and apologize to Jim every time, but I began to drink and he said, it's 100% non-toxic. So I thought if a little is good, more is better. So I had two ounces twice a day for a couple of days and then doubled it and a couple of days doubled it and a couple of days doubled it. And by the third week, I was probably drinking 28 to 32 ounces a day, just trying to get rid of it. So I could say I had, I tried and I sat up till 11 o'clock at night by accident. And when my husband came in and told me what time it was, I was shocked. And I went to bed praying, God, please don't tease me. Don't let me get my hopes up and then be disappointed again, because honestly, my emotional status was very bad. But my energy continued to come up. And so um, I uh, continued to work and rub the gel on the knee, which is what they had told me to do. I didn't think it was doing anything, didn't smell like anything. It was before we had three and one. So I just put it on morning and night. And um, two weeks later, I trotted down the stairs. Vicki, your story reminds me so much of myself. I trotted down the stairs like a teenager. And I had been going down bad leg first for five months. So, so thrilled with my results that I began to tell everyone. And I used this product, educated my pregnant girls, used this product with them, had absolutely amazing results. As their health care provider, I was legal in doing that. And of course, I watched them, but they had the best pregnancies and the best deliveries of anybody in my uh, birth center. So uh, since then, we have had a wonderful time. I grabbed everybody I saw and told them my miracle and never intending to build a business, but uh People would say, wow, I want to feel as good as you do, because like you, Vicki, I feel 20 years younger, and I probably acted because I was dragging around like I was not going to make it and probably wouldn't have, but uh, now I have a lot of life and a lot of energy, and, uh, and we have so much fun now. My cousins are the people I call first, and Debbie is my first cousin, and Kim is my second cousin. So I called Debbie, and she got in, and Kim got in, and we have been building together ever since. Uh, the team organically grows. All of you probably know how that works, and if you don't, I hope you find out. Um, because when something works on a cellular le level, your body heals like it was designed to. And people can't keep their mouth shut. I couldn't. They tell everybody and then end up with a team. And that's exactly what happened to me. And I have never been more grateful for anything. I retired. Um, I've been in this business for four years. I retired at the end of 2020. So for one year, I've been full time as an 
associate and upline and I can help my team. I can be here for them the way Jim was here for me when I didn't have time to do anything. And uh, this is just such a blessing. Um, by the time I had worked part-time three years, I replaced the income from a brick and mortar business that it had taken me 15 years to establish. And that over the 15 years, I probably spent around three to $400,000 putting it together and getting it established. And for this, I spent 40. So I, uh, I highly recommend it for whatever you need. If you just need to take the product to help your body recover from uh, aging or situations, I, it, I encourage you to do that. If you are interested in building a business and help, helping many people get well, uh, whatever your goal is, whether it's $500 a month or much, much more, we have a way to help you. And if you are just in a position where you go, oh, that's real nice. You're like me, doubting Thomas and go, there's no way that could all be true. Then we have a lot of research that we can send you and help you understand what we know. Um, I appreciate you guys sitting through this tonight. And I hope that you will get back with the person that invited you to come listen. and. We hope that you'll join our team in one capacity or the other. So thank you very much. Thank you, Donna Lynn. And I want to just acknowledge if, there's, if there are any um, questions, that this would be a good time to be able to ask Donna Lynn a question. And we would welcome those questions now. Marion, if you'd like to unmute. Yes, okay. I, as I was listening to the video, Virtus is talking about the, the reason he's doing this is this is his legacy. This is the legacy he wants to leave. And so Donna Lynn, you have a legacy now. Uh, what is it, a hundred people or a thousand people? How many people are in your legacy and how does that make you feel? Well, um... You know, that's interesting because it took me 17 years to deliver a thousand babies. It took me three years to establish a, a team of probably somewhere between four and 5,000 people. Uh, I didn't do it. I don't take credit at all. But this product and this amazing company, you have something that works and does what it says it's gonna do, which it still blows me away to a capacity that we can't even imagine. And then you have an amazing integral company to work with like we do. And then you look around and we have all these precious people to develop community with. And it's kind of irresistible and very contagious. So one person tells another person and we brag about all of these parts of it. And uh, pretty soon people are going diamond under you and you don't even know them. So that's kind of what happened to me. And my team is very large. I know the Canadian and Mexican group is probably somewhere close to 3000. And I think the rest of the group may be up to, I don't know, at least 2000, maybe three. It's big. I don't count but it's fun. I'm, I'm grateful. I'm just grateful every day. Well, and each one of those people have a story like the gals today. You, your legacy is amazing changes in lives. It is. And I'm so grateful. And we all have that ability. You know, we were talking another uh, associate and I were talking today. How could you know this and not tell? You know, when your friends and family who have situations, I know it's uncomfortable to do what we call network marketing. Uh, at least it was for me at first. I was like, oh, no, I am not doing that. But when I got well, I couldn't keep my mouth shut. And I would feel so bad if somebody I knew and loved, like one of my cousins, 
um, had something serious and passed away or got really ill and I had never said anything. So I, I consider it now, I'm so different from who I was the day I started drinking it, but I consider it an obligation and a privilege and they're not all going to say no. I mean, they're not all going to say yes. Some are going to say no and I'll feel bad for a minute, but I'll feel good that I tried. So I just encourage everybody to, even if, you know, there's someone listening that doesn't want anything to do with it, I want them to know what this is because they may have a loved one that really needs this. And guys, I would not be here if I hadn't started drinking redox. I'm so grateful for Jim Glenn, who I was so put out with. He pestered me for seven months. He texted, he called, he texted, he called, he tried to get me to go to convention. I ignored everything he sent until December. Uh, but thank goodness for his persistence because I'm alive today. And not just alive, I'm so healthy. The doctor says I'm a mystery to him. He has no idea why I'm still here on earth. He said, what you have does not go away and you don't get well. So I don't know why you're sitting in my office. So I said, well, I have a lot of people praying. And do you remember me telling you about redox signaling molecules? He went, yeah, you can take that stuff if you want to. I went, no problem. I'm going to. So I'm almost 71 years old and I feel like I'm 45, just like you, Vicki. I feel better than I have felt in years and probably do more. So I'm grateful. Sorry, that was way more than you asked for, Marion. <laughs> Marion, do you see Mackenzie's question yeah. in the chat? Yeah, why don't you go ahead and read it for her? Okay, it says, do you know if they have done any studies involving people actively undergoing cancer treatment? Some of the medications used also work by manipulating redox reactions in the body. So I'm wondering if the efficacy of those treatments could be affected. Uh, this product does not, is not contraindicated with any treatment. And I have had many, many people in my team who had uh, bad cells and were undergoing all kinds of forms of chemo and radiation. And what this product actually does is help their body heal from the negative effects that happen through that treatment. Um, they, they handle it much better. You know, those treatments are very harsh and they do their job, but sometimes they do a whole lot more, like kill your pituitary gland. Um, but the people who I have coached and had drinking it along with their treatment did very well with the treatment and did not have damage and ended up with miraculous testimonies that you know the ones that the doctor said you do not have any chance of living we're going to try this it probably won't work you'll die from this uh, from this situation that's going on in your body it's rare it's growing fast it's blah 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 that always makes me really mad because you don't take people's hope away from them, but uh, they do sometimes. So we had her drink in a large amount like I did. And four months later, they could not find any um, of the bad cell clusters that they had had. And she had many of them. And there was still some uh, scar tissue from radiation and that needed to heal, but it was a miracle. And I mean, she thrilled. Her daughter that called me crying at the beginning over and over uh, is absolutely thrilled to have, still have her mom around. So no, it will not mess up the medicine. It actually helps it work better because if your cells are not signaling, nothing else you do matters. Nothing else is going to work if your cells aren't getting the message of where to take the nutrition, the medication, the whatever. It's like there's a blackout in that area. So this actually helps. Thank you, Donna Lynn. 
We have another question that is, why is there fluoride in Renew? Uh, I don't guess that I knew there's fluoride in Renew. Do you hmm. see that on the ingredients? Um, I'll look. I, I know that, that the Renew 28 is the exact same thing that the redox signaling molecules are, except that it is in gel form. So um, I have never heard anyone say about anything about fluoride in the Renew 28. So that's news to me if it's there. I'm wondering, Beth, can you- I, I thought it, I don't have a bottle in front of me, but when I read the ingredients, when I looked up that word, fluor, whatever, fluoride, maybe it had a scientific name, that's what it, it said fluoride, which was a kind of like a, eh, I don't want to put fluoride in my body. So you, you're saying when you look at, I don't have a bottle in front of me. Well, um, I have a little tube right here. I don't have a big tube in front of me. Um, my tube doesn't have it on it. Huh. Mine, we, that's a good thing we should check though. And uh, then, mine, mine says, mine doesn't have fluoride. I will, uh, I'll ask the corporation about that for sure, but I've never heard it before. Okay. Thank you. And then we have another um, question from Catherine. She says, I have a terrible itchy skin rash that is not going away for the past three months. I've been on the product for five months. Any experience here? Thanks. Uh, sometimes, Catherine, if, you, if your system was very toxic, and most of us are toxic. We get more toxins in our body in 15 minutes than our great-great-grandparents got their whole life. I know my system was toxic because of all the medication. Um, and sometimes that will come out through the skin as you begin to detox. And when it does, it can be in the form of a rash, um, that's exactly what mine did. And my mentor, which you guys might know, his name's Jerry White, uh, told me to that I could cut back <clears throat> if I wanted to so that it wouldn't be so severe, the rash. But it wasn't itching like yours is. And I know that's miserable. I'll tell you what I did. Um, it, it, because it wasn't itch, itching, it was just bumps and kind of sore to lay on because it was tender. I told him, no, I didn't want to cut back. I wanted to drink more and get it over with uh, because it is probably a, some kind of detox response that your system is having. Now, if it's uh, itching, what I did was put Renew 28 on it every night before I went to bed. And then I would rub in about 15 minutes, I would put shea butter there's nothing else in, no chemicals, no weird art, uh, you know, ingredients in shea butter. So I would put that on my skin and let it moisturize. And that helped the itchiness, any itchiness that I had a lot. And it helped the discomfort just because it softened it. So you might try that, but I would, you can, and you can cut back on your redox to see if that makes it less severe, but I would sure stay on it because I think your system is cleaning itself out and you don't want that stuff inside. So that would be my recommendation. Yes. Okay. Thank you. Uh, Donna, let me just quick ask you a question. Did it last for three months? My rash? No, it, yeah. didn't. it was probably about four weeks, maybe. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's, that's one of my concerns is that it's getting worse. It's not getting better, it's getting worse. Um, so, but thank you, thank you for your, for your, for your words. I'm so sorry. Oh, that's okay, yeah, <laughs> thank you. Are you drinking the redox and using gel? Oh yeah, yeah, uh, using the gel, I'm using the serum on it. Um, oh. And I just took a homeopathic remedy a couple of weeks ago and the, and the homeopathic guy said, stop taking the ASEA for a week, which I did. Um, and, um, and then after about five days, my body started feeling funky and I didn't want to keep stopping it. So I started it up again. Did and, you maybe uh, start on a lesser amount? 
No. <laughs> I mean, I do um, about 10 ounces a day. Well, I would, you know, try cutting that in half. Mm -hmm. Do maybe two and a half ounces in the morning and two and a half ounces in the evening and see if it just helps your body settle down a little. Mm -hmm. And maybe, maybe that will be not so severe. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. I wish I had a better answer. <laughs> and Darlene, I, if you want to unmute, you could ask your question. Yeah, Donna Lynn, uh, you were talking about um, breakouts. So I, I have a person that's just using the face products and she got little um, pin dots um, on her cheeks from using that. Would that also be a, a detox as well, do you think? I think probably so because okay. you know, we put something like 57 chemicals on our skin by the eight o'clock in the morning, normally, uh -huh. uh, before we understand how important it is to use clean products. I learned a lot when I had those bad cells. I quit using everything that had anything in it. Our skin is the biggest organ on our body and everything we put on it goes, I mean, you know, into our system. So I would expect that that probably is a detox reaction. Is she using the whole skincare system or just the cleanser? And but she is she's, using the Renew. She's skin. using the the whole one plus um, a bottle of the Renew Twenty Eight. So she's doing that whole uh, system. But um, and I asked her about it. I said maybe. Um, you don't want to use the moisturizer cream and see if that, you know, but she said, no, I just want to see, and she's a massage therapist. So she's very holistic anyway, very clean, yeah. um, yeah. very healthy. And then I had another gal that, um, it said it was, um, stinging. Her face was stinging when she would put some of the product on. Do you hear that too? I have not heard that now. My skin stung a little bit when I was detoxing and it was irritated from the rash. It stung a little, but not anything but the moisturizer made it sting. Everything yeah. else is very soothing. And I think that's because there was uh, there's a perfume or there's an ingredient that makes it smell good, which, by the way, they're taking that out the, it's being reformulated so oh. I didn't tell you that I didn't tell you that you don't know that but the new skincare will not have any fragrance none so um I would recommend that they both not use the um uh, the moisturizer, the, moisturizer. the only thing that ever made my skin sting the redox makes it feel better you know but yeah. now sometimes I felt like my skin dried out when I used the uh, Renew 28 because at the beginning you're rebalancing all of the all of the levels are rebalancing. Your body is trying to get to a state of homeostasis, and it sort of goes on a roller coaster until it gets there. That's why okay. some people will start taking it and go, my blood pressure went up, not down. We'll give it a moment because it's really trying to rebalance and, uh, and it will, but you have to be consistent, stay on it, drink enough, you know, stay on it long enough and find that happy place. So, well, that was, that was my next question about um, maybe uh, these people and even the last person that commented, are, are you getting enough intake in water to discharge um, the toxic uh, cells the that you're trying key. to unload? That's the main key. If they are not drinking half of their body weight in ounces of water, they're going to have a more severe detox. And that's what I um, taught all of my pregnant girls anyway. But now everyone, when I help them with the redox signaling molecules, I stress the importance of drinking their water. And if they don't, they are much more likely to have um, rebalancing side effects or, or detox. So that water is key. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Maria, can I say something? Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, well, Beth was going to, I was just going to invite you to unmute and ask your question, Beth. Well, um, 
I think uh, it's, I don't know if it's really a question, but it's just this whole um, detoxification. I think that's one of my concerns with, and I'm glad somebody brought that up because uh, a couple of years ago, my husband did a detox, not with a SIA, with herbs, but when people have toxins in there, his liver almost failed and he was in the hospital for a week. And so everybody is individual in what toxins in their body and so important to pay attention. I'm not saying a C is toxic, but detoxing can be very toxic. Well, that's very, the that's... people's livers and come out like those spots. She was talking, that's, those are liver spots. The liver has to process everything. So I don't know if I should have said that or not, but I, I was afraid my husband was going to die. And I'm not saying that people are going to go through that, but there is so much toxins in our society and candida and bacteria and stuff. If the body all of a sudden, because this is a great thing, let's go too fast. The body can't handle it. Well, that's so, absolutely so true. I have concerns about that's the pain of that true. maybe. That's very true, but it is not as big an issue with something that is in, innate to your body, like redox signaling molecules. Your body knows how to take care yeah, of it. Yeah, that's itself. probably So it true. is not going to have the same kind of harsh effect that a whole bunch of herbs you mix together and throw in will have. Um, it, it's not even as harsh as a handful of vitamins. You take a handful of vitamins and your liver is already taxed and you can throw yourself into hypervitaminosis and be sick. And yeah. all you did was take stuff that's good for you. But redox signaling molecules are innate to our cells. They know what to do, how to uh, detect, protect, repair, and replace cells that aren't working right. They're not going to do anything. I could drink a gallon. They're not going to do anything to throw my body into toxic shock. No way. It's not even possible. It's 100% non-toxic. That's why I gave it to pregnant women and used it on newborn babies. And it worked like a champ for everybody. So yes, people can have a little bit of a detox effect, but that's only 10%. And it's usually because they don't drink water. Like, uh, I, I've forgotten who it was, but like she was saying, it's usually because they don't drink enough water. So when you help people and hold their hand and make sure they're eating well and doing the right amount, and some people are more toxic than others, and they usually need to start on a lesser amount. I've got one lady that has mercury poisoning in her body and she can only spray like five squirts under her tongue. That's all she can handle. But we can, but any amount is still going to help their body recover. So uh, the, the molecules will help your body detox and get rid of heavy metals, mercury, aluminum, all of the stuff. So, but it will do it gently. So not, not make you deathly ill. Yeah, that makes sense. Thank you. And Marion Palmer, did you have another question? I, I just wanted to tell Donna Lynn, uh, several months ago, my granddaughter had uh, COVID and she was expecting, and she lives in Antigua. So it was important for her to be able to come to the United States and have a baby. And Donna Lynn wrote letters to... Uh, help process that. And yesterday, baby Esther was born two pounds, eight, eight pounds, two ounces, eight pounds, two ounces in Spokane, Washington. So thank you, Donna Lynn. <laughs> and they so were happy. using the sea the whole time. <laughs> I'm so happy to hear that, Marion. Thanks for letting me know. Well, How thank timely, you. Huh? How timely. She <laughs> did that right before this get together. So very sweet. Uh, congratulations, Marion. I'm a great. <laughs> <laughs> congratulations for sure. There's nothing better than those grandbabies. Well, Does anyone else have questions? 
I'm not seeing any other hands up, but um, I want to thank you, Donna Land, for, for being here and for taking the time, the extra time, to answer all of our questions. It's been such a treat to have you. And again, I want to thank everybody else for being willing to come to respond to those invitations to support our team to share this amazing information about these molecules. Thank you very much for allowing me to be here. You ladies have a wonderful Friday night. Thank you. Thank you, Donna.